Hello everyone, it's Sarah here from Inky Doodles. Um, today I want to have a little look at the Argyle stamp set that we have. Um, as you can see it's got three large uh, background ones that you can use to build up various patterns. You've got a line of dots and all these various little bits here. Now, at first glance you might think, well what can I do with that? Um, and I've had a lot of people say, can you show us how to build up some backgrounds? Some of you might have seen this little swatch book that um, I showed on Create and Craft. And there, there are uh, um, some pictures of it on the website as well, so if you're stuck for inspiration, you can always go and have a look. Um, what we're going to start with today is one of my favourites. It's just this, um, using the tiny little diamonds, a uh, really nice simple design to do. And I'm just using scraps today, I hope you don't mind. Um, we're using Memento ink and I've got Angel Pink and New Sprout which are really lovely sort of soft springtime colours. And we're inking up the, the small diamond set. You can't really see the ink on this but it is so pale. It doesn't show up on the stamp but obviously it's going to show up really well on the card. There we go. Quite a lot of pressure. Well, not a huge amount, but you know, give it a good press because they're solids. You will, um, you will need to give it extra pressure. There we go. And I'm hoping that I can line this next bit up without sticking my head right in the camera shot. You're going to be able to see it a lot better than I am, so shout if I'm getting it wrong. There, that looks about right. We won't bother going all the way up to the top actually because you can see where I'm going with this. We'll be here all day. So now I'm going in with the um, the green, the new sprout. And because you can see directly through the stamp, you need to just figure out where you're going with it. Line it up and press down. There we go. I really do love this combination of colours. I think it's so fresh and bright. I'll just go in with another one. I really can't see what I'm doing here at all. Please do forgive me. It's very difficult to craft at arm's length. There we go. Not too bad at all considering it's quite nice to, to give you things a finished look. If you just go in, either using one of the colours that you've used there, or I use tea dye on so many things, but it just gives you a little hint of colour, takes away that harsh whiteness. And I've been converted um, to using an inky mat as well. They really are well worth buying, I would say. There we go. So that's our first one done. Really quick, really simple to do. Just to quickly put these ink pads out the way and we'll have a look for another design to do. Actually, one of my favourites, that one. I think that's beautiful. It looks like a sort of an old fashioned tiled floor and it's really easy to achieve that. We're using the, um, the sort of stitched design diamonds for this one. And I've got espresso truffle, which is it's a nice alternative to black. Oh, there I go, up to my usual tricks. It's it's a really, really dark brown, and it just gives you slightly softer look than black, but it still gives you all that definition that you would have if you use black. Nice pressure all over. I'll turn it round in the hope that I will be able to match it up. Sorry if you see the top of my head at this point. You'll be able to see that I need my roots doing. <laughs> there we go, not bad at all. And to fill in, we're using the large single diamond from the set. And I've got um, Potter's Clay. This is a beautiful colour, really rich, rusty colour. 
Now pick a diamond, a sort of a large shape made up of four smaller ones and put, uh, put your large diamond in the centre of it. Now you just need to be quite careful. I've done one take of this already because uh, I didn't manage to line it up. I was very silly. Got distracted talking to you and managed to stamp in the wrong, uh, wrong diamond. But it isn't complicated at all really. So we're just building up a repeat pattern. I will try and get all of this one done because it can, uh, it looks a bit odd if it's not finished. You really need to see the whole thing done in order to, uh, to fully appreciate it. Just a few more little bits. Fingers crossed I don't make a mistake with this one. There. And what you can do to make it even more interesting is to go back in, I don't know whether you can see that at home, but with the tiny diamond, and we're going to go back in again with the um, espresso truffle, the darker of the ink pads, and just line it up in the gaps between the diamonds. Really easy to do. See, I have made a mistake here. Can you see in that corner there? Never mind, we're not going to do another take. We could be here all day, all week in fact, knowing me. But there, you get the general idea. If I'd, if I'd done this properly, there'd be one that would go in there. And just by um, inking over it again with your distress ink. It sort of knocks back that whiteness and gives it a really um, vintage look. There we go. I'm doing my create and craft holding it up whereas I don't need to at all do I with the camera overhead. So that's how it should look if you've done it properly. And that's what I've managed today under pressure, so forgive me please. Right, let's have a look and see what else we can do. There are so many, so many ideas. I like this one actually, we'll have a go at that. And that one uses um, Summer Sky and Ladybug Red. We'll just give the, um, the stitched one a quick wipe over because we've been using a really dark ink pad on it. speed stamping now. There we go. And then we need the the large background diamond pattern. And this is so pale again, you won't see very much on your stamp at all. And just uh, it's quite hard because um, because of the lights, I can't see which part of the um, stamp actually has the ink on it. There we go. Oh, I do. I, I love those colours together. That blue is just um, well, it is. It's just like a summer sky. Really pretty. And there we go, that's that one. I'll quickly pop these away. And you can use um, you can either use the let me show you here, the long string of dots as I have done here to um, to go along and fill in, or you can use the small individual one, which I happen to have to hand, so we'll just do that. And this is great if you're not perfect at lining up your your um you know your repeated pattern you can just go along add the dots and nobody will ever know that it isn't perfectly lined up so 
so there we go that's how we do that one and I think we're going to have to call it a day on this now because otherwise it's just going to be um, video will be too long and we won't be able to upload it so that's um, that's our new Argyle set I hope you enjoyed it <laughs>